All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna do a another video of the CS750 CS800 digital DMR radios. As many have you requested, it's similar to the CS700. There's not much of a difference. Um, and the first thing you need to do is start off with adding contacts. That is located up under DMR services. You do contacts. You add them in here. And you'd want them all to have received tones on. So when you know you'll get the clear channel tone coming across your radio. Those are received tones, okay? I want to make sure you got all your contacts in there. Just like I have here. And uh, and of course if you wanted to add, you know, an individual's contact, you would do it this way. And this is mine. Okay. That's if you want to add any individual contacts. They go in the same spot as your talk group information. Next thing you can do, you go to RX group list, RX group. You know, we can really make this one. Gonna nearly need one. Label it monitor all. And then you just add all those to it. We'll take PRN out. We don't need PRN in there. You'll have those five in here. Monitor all. It'll be the only RX group list you would need for the entire program. Okay. And of course, then you need to make a scan list. And we're gonna name this one Dylan. You would need a. You're gonna need a scan list for every repeater in your radio. Okay. So it's going to require you to have a scan list for every repeater. Monitor all here on the RS group will be available for every channel in the radio um, that's going to be on the same network. Um, and then there you go there. Need to create your zone. Do one here for Dylan. And then, of course, it's really more or less going to do channels and here we're going to do what I like to call doing scan it's going to be just a scan frequency or a scan channel I guess you could say just to help me scan everything that's it it's going to be receive only auto scan start that's all you can do this on every repeater as well okay and then we can go and do here with Dylan Local. You know, that and you click on local as your contact name make sure you do your timeout timer RS group you don't need that you just need local check the phone text contact scan list you need to change that to Dylan if you want to you can select talk around you don't need to and uh, all that good stuff and of course you know just keep going as you go down the line Dylan PRN change the contact to PRN again do the frequency apply that to make sure that's there we need to do we don't need to do that we need to do scan list Dylan make sure you do your talk there you go and we need that on time slot 2. PRN is on time slot 2. So we can go local. We can actually copy the local one. And then when we add the next one, we can just paste it. And pasting will just make it all the same. And it needs to be tag 310. And that, you know, it labels it all for us for the most part. We just have to change a few variables. 
you know, all really stays the same. And again, when you're there, just paste it and, you know, select the next talk group. You see? And there you go for that one. Let's see here for the next one. Just paste it again. Go back to the text contact. Select the next one in line, which is DCI. Rename it up here. You know. So forth and so on. Until you get them all. And, you know, this should be your last one. Dillon Southeast. Should be all. It ain't all. And I actually forgot one contact too that I need to insert. And that's just a time slot clear. You know, and it just needs to be 27. You know, it's the only talk group we need to have. Without that talk group, we can't do it. You know, because then we can hit time slot clear, and it really don't need to be nothing fancy here. You don't need to be in the scan list. You just need to know this is where you go to clear time slot. That's it. That's simple. And that's pretty much you programmed up. Um, you just have to go back to the zone. Make sure you add all your stuff to the zone. You don't need to add time. You know, yeah, time slot clear needs better. Make sure you got everything added in the zone. You should have nine channels in the zone. You know, with a scan channel. Um, make sure your monitor all is all good to go. And this is only really going to work if you, you know, you're on your you know, thing. You can go to your scan list. And all here, on the scan list, that is the only two you need to add. Dylan scan, Dylan PRN. That's it. You don't add all these rests. You add all these rests, it will conflict with monitor all. This is all you need on the scan list. Dylan scan, Dylan parent. You add anything else, it will conflict with monitor all. And what it's going to do there, it's going to do double scanning. It's going to, you know, when you listen to one channel, or if you miss conversations, bits and pieces here and there, this is why. Because you, you got them both in the same, you got everything in scan list that you got in monitor all. You don't need it. You miss bits and pieces of conversations because of it. Scan, you need Dylan scan, Dylan pure. That's it. Monitor all. You just need monitor all. Nothing more. That is it. And again, that's pretty much it. You're good to go. How easy is that program? You know, everything's there. So, with that, Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it's helpful. You know, of course, when you own Dylan Scan, make sure you got the you know monitor all selected. Monitor all doesn't need to be selected on anything else other than the scan channel. That's it. Because once you're here, it's going to do the scan list. It's going to do monitor all. Does it automatically. Good to go. And everything else needs to be listed with the scan list. But the RS group needs to stay alone. Needs to be none. Other than that, that's it. The video is done. Hope you enjoy it. Hope it's helpful. Again, my name is Sam. Call signs K4KNJ, which is Kilo 4 Kilo November Juliet. And we're down here in Dillon, South Carolina. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day. Maybe we'll catch you on the next one.